what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here once again for some more the last kingdom season three episode seven and eight hope you guys are enjoying yourself with the season so far um this season is great so far man um it's definitely the best one i'm not even through the six episodes in and i can say um that it is better than the first two it is definitely better than the first two I have to say that because it is like, um, you know, I've gotten mad, I've gotten angry, I've gotten sad the series before, but I do think that season three kind of turned up everything, turned up to an, you know what I'm saying? They, they turned it up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They really went above and beyond to get this thing done, right? So, um, the things that are happening right now. Mr. Um, Eighth Wall is in trouble, right? He's in trouble because once Brita finds out, Brita is not going to hesitate to kill him. Maybe Uhtred will hesitate to kill him, but I think Brita will kill him. Um, but I still don't think I don't think Eighth Wall is going to die in this series. I don't I don't even think he's dead right now, even though they announced season five. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, but I don't. Th I think he's he's gonna be that character in the show that they're going to let last through the show because he's the snake. He's the he's the underbelly. He's the you know what I'm saying. He's the cockroach hiding in the corner. He's that guy. So I don't think you know he, he's a character that was created for you as the audience to hate, to not like. No matter what he does, it's just like a worthless person that is you know after something that that is basically in my opinion unattainable for him at this point unless he does some really scrummy shit like you know what i mean so um i actually thought that you know as i said before like i thought alfred would have been dead by now i thought he was gonna die in the last couple of episodes i thought he was gonna die but he survived because he wanted he wants his son to take over which is edward which i already said that edward is becoming the type of king that I that I would want or I would look up to if you want to say it like that a guy that doesn't necessarily want to please you know you want to please the church you want them to do the things you know what I'm saying you you want to uphold the law you want to uphold the things that the crown represents but you also got to be able to make decisions on your own and not based on those things sometimes because sometimes situations are going to happen that those old ways just don't work and you have to come up with new stuff and that's why I've, i'm i'm always saying that you know what i'm saying you can't be alfred is a slave to the crown and he hates it and it's so obvious in his character that he does not like it he does not like that he's a slave to the crown but he's a slave to the crown it's like he's doing this and making it seem you know what i'm saying the stuff that he's telling edward I just feel like Edward is not going to follow that to a T. You get what I'm saying? Him saying that, you know, Wessex and England is all that matters, like matters of the heart doesn't like that line. I had to stop and 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 say what I had to say in, in, in the last reaction because that really struck a nerve with me because I, it's what I've been saying about Alfred being a slave to the crown and not. Not to say that he's always making bad decisions. He's making these decisions, you know, especially when it comes on to Uhtred. You get what I'm saying? Using those things to manipulate somebody to stay by your side. And now you're admitting, oh, Edward is going to need Uhtred, right? But, but yet still, you're still over here saying, I know that, but he has to remain an outlaw until I die. You get what I'm saying? So... It's what he wants. You get what I'm saying? Because for some reason, I don't know if he thinks it's going to affect his legacy. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But he does not. It's not what he really wants. You get what I'm saying? It's not what he really wants. His is it's like it's like he's creating this this world, an ideal of what he of what he wants people to remember about him. And he's not necessarily going by what he feels about it you get what i'm saying like how he actually feels about it and you can see him and alfred and Uchi is the most conflicted characters in the in the show 
no matter how you go at it. Um, next we had, you know, we talked about Aether Wall killing Rag Ragnar. Um, very unexpectedly, of course. Um, you know, it baffled me. It definitely caught me off guard. I didn't expect them to really kill Ragnar at this point in the story. You know what I'm saying? On some red wedding shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was that much of a shock value to me. So, I'll catch you guys for the review. Alright, so I have to say this. Those episodes 7 and, seven and 8 of season 3 has got to be my favorite two episodes of the season so far. Most definitely. Um, you guys might have other favorite episodes. I don't know, but those two episodes. And the reason being is because two of my favorite characters in the show, which is Alfred and Uhtred, um, they, they stepped up big time with the acting was was out of this world man it was out of this world and also finally seeing who alfred is you get what i'm saying finally seeing it it was very frustrating the first couple of seasons seeing alfred man it was very frustrating because he has now become the king and it's just unfortunate that he's going to die soon because he's finally seeing things the way not necessarily how I see things, but how it should be. How a real leader leads. You get what I'm saying? Like, listen, I get it. You have to please the people. You have to give the people what they want. But sometimes you got to pull back and be like, nah, I'm king. Shut the fuck up. You get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you just, you got to do that. And I really, like, my respect level went down but it's back up here, way up here for Alfred, man, most definitely. And also the okie doke that was pulled in episode seven, man. Um, and I caught it. And I have to say it again. I caught it. Okay? Okay? And I'm happy about myself. I called that. I saw the I saw the foreshadowing and it didn't sit right with me. And I even started to doubt the prediction too. You know what I'm saying? I even started to doubt it because they did it so well. You know what I'm saying? With trying to okie doke me at the beginning of episode seven, I was like, I, I started to blame the show because I was like, if they really go along with the fact that Citric left with prisoners and everything is all hunky dory, and you know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been, you know what I'm saying? It would have been a blemish on the season for me. That's why I was like, there's no way they do this. No way. You know what I mean? But in any case, we got two more episodes to go. I'm going to be reacting to it directly right after this, after I finish this review. But um, these two episodes were fire, man. They were really, really good episode. Elswith still doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? Still being Elswith. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure I'm, I'm getting these names right. Why is it that he's always finding some lackey? You know what I'm saying? He's always getting some some lackey. Um, Ethelwald, right? Um, they don't have her name here. Why? Uh, and the witch is dead. What? Why don't they have her name here? Is he like a side character or something? Oh, there we go. Hellswith, right? Yeah. Eliza but Butterworth. <laughs> her name's Butterworth. Okay. All right. Um, just remember that. Yeah, because I did look her up before. But anyways, um, as I said, man, what's her name? Elfled. L fled. She has nothing on Ethel fled, man. Nothing on Ethel fled. Ethel fled still remained the undisputed most beautiful woman in the, in the show right now. You know, she was she was on she was on. You know what I'm saying? She was on. She was not up there before. You know what I'm saying? She was not up there before, but she has so grown into 
uh, a young lady and stuff like that. Um, I love her attitude. I love her attitude. I love how she stands up. She is, you know what I'm saying? She's a fighter. She's become one of my favorite characters in the show to see on screen. Um, not just because of her beauty, but because of her interactions with Uhtred. And, you know, Skate got what was coming to her. You know what I'm saying? I was a, a tiny bit afraid of her. You know what I'm saying? She's what you classify as a, as a crazy bitch. That's, <laughs> that's how you classify people like Skate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's just what it is. I'm glad you figured out a way to get rid of the curse. Um, you know what I'm saying? That was an easy call. You know what I'm saying? That was an easy call. You know, them out in the water. He needs to, how to bro break the curse is to, to kill the person who put the, the curse on you without um, spilling any blood, right? So you have to figure out a way, whether it's poison, whether it's drowning them, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, choking them out, you know what I'm saying? Um, any one of those will work. Um, I wasn't convinced for a little bit that she was dead. You get what I'm saying? But they went on with the episodes. So I was like, okay, I guess she is there. It was a little bit anticlimactic, if you if if you understand what I mean. It was a little bit underwhelming the way how it was done, even though there's not much you can really do with a drowning scene, you know. To do to her presence when she's on screen, as I've talked about it before, is like it's like it, you're losing a major character in a in in a in a very underwhelming way. You get what I'm saying? Because she's had so many um really meaningful scenes in in the season so far so it was kind of like i mean the, the the season literally started with her so it's kind of like you feel like you're losing a main character so it was kind of like underwhelming but it is it but it was okay you know what i'm saying it, you know so i guess that's why i had doubts because i was like are they really gonna kill skate just like that you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna hold out a, i'm gonna have a tiny little bit of of hope you know what i'm saying even though I want her to be dead, it's like I feel like just a little bit that she might come back in some way, shape, or form. You get what I'm saying? Like in, in hallucinations or something. I don't know. But if that's the way she goes, that's the way she goes. I'm not going to miss her in any way. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I still, hopefully they they decide to um, do something um better with the characters next next time i don't know what the hell i'm why did i just say that anyways um yeah i might have to cut that out but i might not who the hell cares i make mistakes during my reviews because i'm doing them off the top of my dome as soon as i finish with the um the episode the episode so that everything is fresh and i talk about the main things i want to talk about so when it comes on to um alfred you know, the wedding is going on. Of course, I got to talk about um, Elfled. Her dress, still trash, right? Still trash. I don't know what is going on with these wedding dresses back in there. Listen, I'm not expecting them to come out with no white Vera Wang stuff. That's not what I'm expecting. But I've seen better dress dresses for brides. B not for brides better dresses in the show especially with elsewith elsewith have some of she's the most fashionable person in the show i don't know who if they if the costume designer does she have a specific costume designer on the show but her costumes be fire bro like they they're so old they're, they're so old looking they look so modern in in a certain certain aspects of her dresses they look modern you get what i'm saying so i don't know if they're just downplaying the other people in the show to not make them look as good as elsewith but i'm just saying i'm just i'm just saying it could it, it it's just you know what i'm saying like i think they could step it up with the with the bride with the bride dresses you know what i'm saying like they they be trash they be wearing some regular ass dresses and shit that you know you be seeing like even the freaking servants be wearing sometimes it's like there's nothing special about it. it doesn't look right but you know that's neither here nor there it has no impact on the show um utrid and and alfred hopefully they have a good conversation 
Um, of course, we got our boy Edward stepping up, man. But Elswith was talking out of turn a lot. And I'm glad that, that Alfred finally shut her down. Like, bruh, you talking way too much lately, man. You Come on now. Come on now. You know, I, I give you a lot of rope. But it's time I need to rope that shit in right now. I need, I need to bring you in and let you know. It ain't that time. You know what I'm saying? Let me speak. Because this nigga out here, he, he trying to play me right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and the thing about it is, like, I don't know who gives this dude the right to come up into my throne room talking all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Negotiating and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wish Alfred would have shut that shit down and be like, yo, bruh. You're married, your girl is marrying my son, the prince, which is going to be king when I die. And you come up in here talking about you want to negotiate price because of danger? Bruh. Come on, man. Anyways. Anyways. Um, I wish sometimes Alfred would flex more. You know what I'm saying? I wish he would flex more sometimes, but I guess, you know what I'm saying? He still got to remain kingly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Terry by Reacts. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for the final two episodes of the season. Peace.